All right, hello, Tony Walker here. I'm gonna do a video for you for a Schuyler uh, journal, Schuyler journal. Uh, Schuyler is a Bible publishing uh, company, store, uh, evangelicalbible.com is where you can find their website. And I suppose, uh, I don't know, last fall maybe, they announced that they would be uh, creating some journals. And so I was glad to, glad to hear that. And they've been out for uh, just a, a brief time now, maybe a few months or so. Um, so I got this from them, from evangelicalbible.com, and I'm going to make a video for you for that. This is the color they call uh, Antique Marble Brown. It comes in black, I believe, with a blue ribbon, uh, Antique Marble Brown with the gold ribbon, British tan, uh, which to me is more of an orangish color, uh, Imperial Blue and dark green and you can go to their website and see plenty of pictures about that so just a, a few things to show you about this journal give you an idea of the size and the contents um when you open it up i've, I've seen a video of these uh, before and to me in that video it just looked like a plain white uh, paste down paper and i thought man that's such a nice journal to have a plain white paper uh, but what that video uh, didn't I couldn't really see on that video, or maybe I just wasn't paying good attention, um, that Schuyler did pay attention to detail. So it's not just a plain white paper. It's actually a, an antique uh, sort of marble, marbled uh, finish paper. And so that adds a nice um, antique antique finish to it. Not sure what, this, uh, what the color would be in the other journals, but at least for this one, um, I think the, the brownish marble, tan marble, matches the cover uh, very well. As you can see, it is an art gilt uh, gold with red under gold. So you can see it's gold, but you look at it from an angle, it has the, the red, red dye applied to it. Um, this page is very thick. Um, don't know if you can really tell, but I tried to put my, my little seal stamp on there and uh, it wouldn't tape very well because this is some thick paper. So on the second page, um, it's it's the uh, 70 GSM paper, and you can see the, the seal was applied uh, very nice in there. From the Library of Tony Walker, 2 Timothy 4, 13. Um, so this is the third genre of Tony Walker. I'm going to start it uh, in a couple days on June. And then I have a few little notes in here uh, for my family. If I'm ever gone one day and they're looking for daddy's journals, just a, a little description on what journal covers what. Hopefully they'll be all kept together, but uh, just just a habit I've gotten into uh, back in August 2014. Just adding that little bit of information to the first blank page. Um, so you, you do have one blank page here. You can use as a title page or if, uh, if lost, please return to page. Then you get to the table of contents. Um, page and topic, you have one, two, three of those table of contents. And then on the table of contents, each page has 27 lines. After that, you have one more uh, blank page on the back of this sheet. And then it, the numbering does start at page number one instead of page three or four or whatever it actually would be. Uh, so the, the first journal entry or note or topic you write or whatever will actually be starting on page one. Let's get through, get all the way to the back, and the final page is page 234. As far as the journal itself, um, so you've got 27 lines on the table of contents. You have 234 usable pages uh, as far as ruled pages. Um, the paper measures five and a half by eight and a half, so very, very common size for, for journals and notebooks and even uh, some Bibles. The paper it just is a 70 GSM paper, so as I said, a very, very nice thick paper. Give you an idea of the uh, this uh, fountain pen ink right here is a Smoky Quartz uh, fountain pen ink from Pelican, and um, you can see on the back um, virtually no show through. Um, cameras and flashes actually um, exaggerate show through a little bit if you're familiar with Bible reviews. Uh, but rest assured, the uh, the bleed through, the show through on this is, is virtually nothing. So very, 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 very nice paper. 
Um, and if you're using just a plain ballpoint pen or something like that, it would be, you know, even less than that. Um, the pages themselves, uh, the lines are uh, six millimeter lines, and each page has 33 lines per page. Um, as you can see, it is perimeter stitched all the way around on the front and on the back. There is nothing on the spine. It does not have journal stamped on the front. So very, 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 very nice journal. I could see myself in, uh, let's see, my first journal ran uh, about two years. My second journal ran uh, oh, about a year and three quarters. So I could picture, you know, maybe around springtime of 2020, I could envision myself buying an, another journal such as this. Uh, now they are nice journals and, and like with many things, you do get what you pay for and you pay for what you get. Um, so if this is just something, you know, you're going to let your kids color in, they would be better off with a, a dollar composition book from Dollar General. But if it's something that you plan on uh, passing down, using every day, journaling, writing prayers, writing Bible studies, maybe writing a book, uh, a draft of a book, or, you know, something, something you plan on um, passing down to your children, something that's going to mean a lot to you and hopefully to the, to the ones who receive it, um, you know, you know, if you were going to fill this up in a week's time, maybe you could go a more economical uh, um, way to go about it. But, you know, if, if you're going to use it for a year or two years and maybe write a paragraph or two a day, um, you know, I'd say why not splurge and get that. All right, uh, just to give you a, a quick comparison as far as color goes, this is a brown pip minion. So that is what the, the color looks like compared to a brown pip minion also show you the other that would uh the other I hate to use the word rival but the the closest thing you would find to this as far as quality goes you have um, the rl allen uh full size journal so this one is just you know just a quarter of an inch taller and maybe a third of an inch wider um, give you an idea what the inside looks like There's that. Um, a brown R.O. Allen long primer. Very popular Bible in the Bible world. So you can see how it how it compares when stacked up to that. The uh, the lectern journal would be journal number two I just filled up that's how it compares to that as far as size goes and then uh, one last comparison the, uh, the ever so popular black moleskin uh, give you an idea of what the inside page is And one benefit to the pages being numbered, uh, you don't have to do that yourself. They've already done that for you. So if you're someone like me, you like to number all your journals. Uh, so as you can see, uh, the lines are much darker. So that's very nice, in my opinion. And then uh, you get a few more, a few more lines per page. All right. So that is the Scholar. Uh, the new Scholar Goatskin Journals, as I said, uh, gold skin, uh, one ribbon. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, um, let's see if I can find one for you real quickly. Yeah. If you look right in there, you can see the thread. So what that means is the pages, instead of it being glued together, you know, like a, um, like a mass market paperback that can fall apart, uh, you know, if you do this enough to a paper paperback, the pages are going to start falling out, coming apart from the glue. Uh, but what you have to, with this, the pages are not glued. You can see how it kind of, see the little, the little mountain peaks or, or whatever you can kind of catch. If you're not familiar with that in the, the Bible world or the journal or book binding, uh, that's 15. what that means is that the signatures 
instead of being uh, a bunch of paper glued to the spine, it's actually made up of signatures that are glued together. And it looks like you've got one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you've got five, five signatures making up the total of the 230 something something pages. So uh, I believe that's about it. Uh, if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. I'll be glad to help you out any way I can. Uh, if you want to purchase one of these or look at the other additional colors they have, be sure to check out evangelicalbible.com. Uh, if, you, if you're just interested in the journal, uh, that would be a good, good place to go. Uh, but if you're also interested in the, the Bibles that they offer, uh, then they're you know, pretty much that's the, that's the first website everyone goes to uh, in the Bible world when they're looking for a, a Bible that, uh, you know, some, sometimes you buy things on a, on a mass market scale to give away or give to young children in case they get messed up and it'll be okay. Uh, but when it comes to heirloom quality items, uh, some people pass down watches, some people pass down leather shoes, some people pass down, um, you know, iron skillets. And, uh, and then there's some people who pass down Bibles and journals and, uh, and study notebooks. So, if you're interested in that, Evangelical Bible would be a good place to check out. All right, take care. Be sure to check out the, uh, the channel for other videos that you may be interested in. And also, feel free to check out the website there at PreacherTony.com. See ya.